Kayla Jamil starts a feud with Caroline Flack over her controversial new plastic surgery show, The Surgery, even though she's never seen it, before reigniting a row with Piers Morgan. The premise of the controversial show is that people pitch their plastic surgery dreams to a jury of people. If 75% of the jury approve at the end of their pitch, they will get their dream body and will undergo the operations, plural. The show will neither glamorize nor condemn their choices. The aim is instead to interrogate the realities. Jamila started this off by posting a story about Caroline's new plastic surgery theme show saying, well, Black Mirror is officially happening, guys. It's here. Caroline wrote back, have you managed to see a copy before me? Please forward. Am desperate to see. Black Mirror is a contemporary reworking of the Twilight Zone with stories that tap into the collective unease about the modern world, like plastic surgery, for instance. There was a pile-on against Caroline on Twitter. How can you be so defensive about a show this toxic and exploitative that you're willingly hosting? Caroline, Caroline replied, because I filmed it, and the people who have taken part are amazing and have been through a lot, and life is about individual choice. It blows my mind that enough people thought this was an acceptable idea and that it has gone this far. How was it not shut down the moment the idea was pitched? FFS, the human race is doomed. I'll feel bad for someone who watches the show and feels disgusted with themselves because they might resemble one of the before contestants, but ultimately it's their bodies to do what they want with. I mean... I'll never give it 30 seconds of my time, but that's people's own choice. Finally, the internet sleuths realized that Jamila had had plastic surgery and started firing back at her. Mine? Yes, 100%. I had my breasts reduced because my back was hurting, and I have no problem with cosmetic surgery of any kind, but would always publicly own it as I see no shame in doing it. I see huge shame in hiding it. Wait, so you're attacking Caroline Flack for hosting a show on plastic surgery, but you had plastic surgery to reduce your breast size? Next, Jamila attacked Piers Morgan, saying, he's Britain's HPV. Piers replied, HPV is a sexually transmitted disease that causes cervical cancer and kills thousands of women every year. Why, as the supposed caring, tolerant ally of women, are you using it in a manner that implies you think it's shameful? Jamila ended up getting a lot of backlash from comparing Piers to HPV. Finally, Caroline Flack tweets to Piers, please have pictures. I'm struggling with Jamila. The hate she aims at me. After her cry for help to Piers, Caroline Flack sadly self-deleted herself. She ended her own life. Piers later tweeted, Jamila Jamil is having a lot to say about online harassment. So in the interests of balance, here's a message Caroline Flack sent me last October after the same Jamila Jamil led an online pylon against her regarding a new TV show she was doing. Caroline Flack died by self-deletion amid fears of prosecution the coroner rules. Specifically, she was informed that she was definitely going to be prosecuted for allegedly assaulting her boyfriend. She passed in February while awaiting trial for the assault charge. Flack feared that the case would play out in the national press and she could lose her career. Her career. There's quite a bit going on here and more than just the bullying. Finally, we have Jamila Jamil considering suicide after Piers Morgan leaked Caroline Flack's DMs. We also have Jamila claiming to have had cervical cancel, cancer, congenital hearing loss, Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, I don't even know what that is, and having been struck by a car at age 17. Jamila has been accused of having Munchausen syndrome, a mental illness in which a person repeatedly and deliberately acts as if they have a physical or mental illness, which in fact, when in fact they are not sick. What a tangled web we weave. I have questions.
Let's see what the cards want to reveal today. Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. Time for a spot of royalty. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. As always, you can find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. And please uh, gently tap the like button and the subscribe button if you, certainly the subscribe button if you haven't already. So let's take a look at this. Uh, what are the circumstances of Caroline Flax passing? Was it more the bullying or the domestic assault charge, which it looks like she was, it was going to be dragged through the courts and through the, the media? I mean, when it rains, it pours. I mean, it's never just like one thing. It's like a whole series, you know, Lemony Snicket's takes over your life. And it's just a whole series of unfortunate events. And that's what it sounds like. I actually, before I got into this, I thought it was just uh, Jamila Jamil uh, bullying Caroline Flack. But there's more to the story. Okay, and it's, maybe it's a little mean-spirited that Piers, uh, you know, Jamila just kept sniping at Piers. And finally, Piers just dropped the bomb on Jamila and like framed her for the death of Caroline Flack. So let's take a look overall at the uh, circumstances of her passing, Caroline Flack's passing, and see, you know, just in general, and then we'll take a closer look. Key events. Ooh. Okay, death on the mind. That's self-deletion on the mind. Ooh, no way forward. Well, we do have death. Um, we have queens are very situational. Kings are much more direct action. We don't have any direct action. We have queens situation in very important uh, places. So... These are key events that were occurring in Caroline Flack's life. Okay, both the bullying and this domestic assault, felony domestic assault against her boyfriend, Fox. And you know how rare it is for women to be prosecuted for domestic assault. I mean, Amber Heard, for instance, is a super abuser. Okay, she is like really next, next, next level. And she got like a hundred women's organizations to, to say, oh, you're bullying her. And like, nobody believes it. I, I mean, she's a literal super abuser. And if that was, if Amber Heard was a man, she would be doing like l multiple life sentences already. But Amber, you know, she's not in jail and she's probably never going to ever go to jail for any of this. Um, Fox, uh, so she was really contemplating these key events, Caroline Flack was, and all the complications and difficulties. And she just couldn't see a way out. 24, 33, nine hearts. All right, I don't know if you could hear my dog making noise. He was right next to me. I thought he would just be quiet, but no, he's still got that puppy in him. So, yeah, she was really contemplating how to handle this. 24, 33. Yeah. And nine hearts, nine hearts. And she just, she just felt like the perfect storm hit her and there was just no way out. Uh, she was worried about her career and her money. Uh, and she, she might have been somebody who had an ideation with ending herself. You saw how incredibly beautiful she was. I mean, I've dated... I dated a woman who was a 10, who was at least as beautiful as Caroline Flack. Very lovely. And man, she was crazy. Man, she was... And women hate when men say that, but I don't know any other way to say it. I mean, the other way to say it is she was just a straight-up criminal. Uh, just really a, a super toxic person. Uh, so, I, I mean... Normal people would be surprised that someone who has so much going for her, someone like Carolyn Flack, who is so beautiful, who's on television, who's making so much money, would, would be having these thoughts. 
you know, and I wonder if she had like an ideation, you know, if this is, if, you know, if she had like a suicidal ideation. Did she have an obsession with this kind of thing? Just like a lifelong obsession uh, with this kind of thing. Because the, the very beautiful woman that I knew, man, she was messed up. She was like Jamila Jamil with all those crazy, ridiculous illnesses. So much that people are like, yeah, you're just making that up. Okay, she was like that. Did she have an ideation blockage over the long term? Yeah, an illness. Can you see that? Okay. So, yeah. So, Caroline Flack, this 1823 and deeply rooted in her personality. Yeah. So, her whole life, her entire life, she was like this. Like, oh, stuff is not working out. Stuff is not so easy that I can't believe how easy it is because all the doors open because I'm so incredibly beautiful. I'll just kill myself. That is how she thought. She's one of those people. Yeah, so she, her whole life, she was like this. She, rather than going through these difficult problems, what is this? Uh, she, she often thought about just taking the easy way out. In the near future, things would have changed. Things would have transformed. Things would have changed. But she didn't wait for that. She ended it. And... And, you know, self-deletion, ending, ending oneself, is, it's, it's about, it's anger, it's rage. Someone who does that is often so angry and feeling so helpless, they just want to strike back, and they strike back by ending themselves. Uh, conflict, so much conflict, yes, she was going through a terrible time of conflict in her life. And money... Hopes and fears, money. She was really worried about her career. And again, a career card. She was really worried about her future and her career. So, interestingly, uh, I think this is primarily the domestic assault and not uh, the bullying by Jamila Jamil. However, there are two queens here. Okay, the only people cards are queens. So we're going to take a closer look at Jamila and Caroline to see if uh, how, how much that played a part. All right, let's take a look at Jamila and Caroline. How big a deal was this to Caroline? How, how bothered was she? I mean, was this just a bump in the road or was this like, or is she someone like Megan? Okay, Megan Markle, she, if you can't criticize her at all because she's perfect. And, and, and Caroline seems like a person like this, a narcissist. If, if, if she's not absolutely perfect, then you just look at her like, wow, you're gorgeous. Okay, if she's not absolutely perfect, then it's, everything is garbage and she just wants to self-delete. That is the choice that Caroline Flack made. Uh, so let's look at Jamila and Caroline. How much was this bullying, bugging Caroline, Jamila? And Jamila said that they were friends, Caroline. Oh, she wanted it to stop. She was afraid it would affect her career. Mm. Okay. We have that there. All right. So underneath here, hiding underneath, actor card. Here's the actor card. Player. N not really friends. It's kind of business and acting. And she just wanted this to stop. Uh, she was afraid this would affect her career. Seven, seven spades and nine clubs. Afraid this would affect her career. But this was just... Acting, these are not, she didn't consider uh, Jamila like a friend. I don't know. This is Jamila. Committed to direct action, and she actually does look like a friend. Jamila actually looks like a friend. So <clears throat> Jamila said, I was friends with Caroline. I didn't want to hurt her, but she's really mean-spirited. I mean, I really watch for cruelty in people, and if someone shows 
that they'll flip on me, that they're cruel, I want nothing to do with that person anymore. Or if they'll throw me under the bus or, or talk behind my back. I really watch for that. I look for any sign of that. And then I'm like, yeah, I'm done with you. I, I just, I just don't really consider that person a friend. And that's the kind of behavior that Jamila is demonstrating. Very toxic, you know, is really throwing Caroline under the bus and you can't trust this person. That person is not your friend. But Jamila is here like, oh, I'm your friend. 21, six hearts. It's showing that she thinks she's her friend, which is weird. And Caroline's like, no, just based on what's happening, like right now, we have to stop this. 16, 20. Uh, Caroline did consider Jamila her friend. And at the end of, after, after this pile on, she didn't want her to be her friend anymore. Uh, but she did. They were friends, which is really weird. So, and Jamila's like, yeah, I just, I just cut everybody. You know, I just cut everybody. Uh, weird. What a toxic person Jamila is. And really messed up people, they create chaos in their life. So Jamila's like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with this. And Caroline's like, no, you've gone too far. So, but they were friends. Really, I'm shocked. I'm shocked to see that. I thought Jamila was just saying that, you know, like... Those Hollywood people are always like, yeah, I love you, baby. I love you. I love you. I love everybody. I love you, baby. Uh, let's look at what was weighing heavier on Caroline's mind. Was it the bullying or the domestic assault? Because she was really bugged by it. She didn't want to be Jamila's friend anymore. Bullying or the domestic assault? What, what was weighing more heavily on her mind? Bullying She wanted it to stop. You know, again, we have the nine spades. Or the domestic assault. The domestic assault. Wow. We have the devil for the domestic assault. Yeah. All right. So what is weighing heavier on Caroline Flack's mind? The bullying? She wanted this to very actively stop. It was, uh, Four Leaf Clover is the right now card. This was just affecting her situation right now. Look at how dark the domestic assault is. Look at this, we have one, we have a nine spades, but this is just, okay, 13, 25. She's gonna get through this. She wants this to stop. She's doing everything she can to stop it, but she's gonna get through it, seven hearts. Four and 11, 15, four clubs. Uh, the devil, he, she felt like this was really out to get her. And it just kept coming and coming and coming. And it kept cutting and, and it was just horrible. Uh, really, really a nightmare. Four clubs. And it was just so immediate and in her face. Uh, and she needed to make decisions about her future. It was affecting her future. 17, five hearts. Uh, and under here, we have, uh, oh, and there's another card hiding under there. It's, uh, it's, it's messing everything up. Two spades, three diamonds. This is just, it's ruining everything. And it's, it's throwing a wrench in, in her whole, uh, in her whole situ jack of clubs, in her whole situation. Can you see all that? I got it so close. And she was just really, really emotional about her finances and about her, her foundation that she built so hard. So really it was the domestic assault. She was accused of felony domestic assault. I think it's unlikely that she would have been convicted just because it's so rare that women get convicted of felony domestic assault unless he could prove that she was trying to kill him or something. Uh, but, and I think it's much easier for men to, 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 to get convicted of that disparity of force and all that nonsense. But women are equal. And now uh, trans men are competing, you know, in women's sports. And so like a dude who's like number 175 ranked, he goes and competes against the women in the same sport and 
gold medal, baby. They're, it's We're so equal. We're just equal. You know, I'm not stronger than a woman, but I'm just an old man, and I'm about 179,000 times stronger than you. You just, you just haven't tangled with me yet. Um, so, yeah. She was more concerned about the domestic assault. She was more concerned about the domestic assault, for sure. For sure. And that was what really got her. I actually think she's very much like a Meghan Markle where things just have to be perfect. Things just have to be perfect. Did Jamila actually consider suicide or was this just another victimhood cry? Because, man, she claims everything. She's she's Munchausen's lady. She just claims everything. Cervical cancer, getting hit by a car at 17, you name it. She claims it. She's got an ailment for every circumstance. So did Jamila really consider suicide because uh, Pierce tweeted this out? You know, he really shamed her. Four diamonds. Ooh, King of spades, executioner. Two diamonds. Big change. All right. Um, so, very briefly, I would say, she thought about this very, very briefly. Six and 13, 19. She did consider this, like, very, for an instant, very briefly, taking this executive action, just realizing that she could just end all this. But... You know, we go on. You know, life goes on even after you. I believe we're eternal. And, you know, this is how all the, the divination and, and all that works. Because this body is not who we are. We're much more than that. 1 Corinthians 15, 45. Uh, so, let's see. Big change. Taking direct action. Just completely changing the narrative by self-deletion. Big change. And because of a blockage in her problem. But not really. She kind of did, like, you know, she kind of did, but really not really. Not seriously. Not like Caroline Flack. Caroline Flack had some issues. Uh, and I think she's like a Meghan Markle personality. She, she, she just had to be perfect. And, and just looking at her, she looked amazing. She looked perfect. I wonder what would have happened to her as she got older. I mean, because you get older. And as a woman, that's harder because beauty is so important to a woman. Whereas a man, you know, uh, I can still date 20-year-olds, and, and I do. Uh, and I'm pretty freaking old. Uh, and that's just simply not the case for 99.999% of ladies. So uh, I... I, I this is the first time I've seen anything that Piers did that I don't uh, that I don't love. I think he really just threw Jamila under the bus. He had a personal feud with her. I don't think she really had much to do with Caroline Flack's self deletion. I think Caroline Flack had some serious issues and had that kind of ideation. Whenever anything went wrong, she's just like, "I'll just finish myself." And she had this for her whole life. And it was really the domestic assault that got her and not this bullying. She was going to get through the bullying, but the domestic, the felony domestic assault charge was too much. Uh, and that's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share.